Hey everyone, it's Noah here at Short Redmond Ford. Are you just gonna repeat everything that I say? You're right, I'm gonna repeat everything you say. Watch and see. <laughs> okay, I get it, I get it. And I'm gonna be reviewing the 2024 Mustang GT. And I'm gonna be reviewing the 2024 Dark Horse Mustang. On the Mustang GT, you're gonna get 19 by eight and a half inch shadow silver wheels with 19 inch Brembo brake with red and white accents. You're gonna get 19 inch gloss black with tarnished accent wheels with Pirelli street tires. You're gonna get a beautiful black painted roof, blue calibers with a blue logo, and the Mustang Dark Horse stripe on the hood. On this particular model, you're gonna get a more low profile wedge spoiler. Another feature that is not on the GT is that you're gonna get a spoiler with a gurney flap from the factory. On the GT, you're gonna get leather seats that are heated and ventilated and powered. You're gonna get Recaro racing seats. You're gonna get a 10-speed automatic transmission and a dark horse badge with a unique chassis number. Man, I'm about to blow your mind. The GT is a whole lot better than the Dark Horse. No, it's not either. The MSRP is less. Nobody cares about the MSRP. Basically, I've got all the features you have. You think you have all the features that I have. <laughs> Watch and see. Everybody's watching. So now it's my turn to show you why I think the Mustang GT is better than the Dark Horse. Time to rev the engine with the remote fob. Now it's my turn to show you why the Dark Horse is better than the GT. And that's why I think the Mustang GT is better. And there you have it, the Dark Horse Mustang.